New Year's resolution is a very famous concept around the world where people make promises to themselves or more like false promises for the majority of the people. And these promises are that they will change their lifestyle around, whether that is to stop smoking or stop drinking or stop watching corn or doing or watching any other disgusting things out there. And it could also be like religious things such as, you know, trying to pray more, fast more and all sorts of promises such as, you know, hitting the gym and becoming more healthy with which statistically seems to be the biggest goal or the biggest promise that many people uh, make to themselves which is exactly why when you go to the gym on the 1st of January or the 2nd of January you will see that for the entire month or at least for a few weeks the gym will be very very packed and yes it can get annoying but literally by the end of the month most people end up quitting. Now because it's a new year, people think that they will suddenly make changes to their lifestyle. Anyway, some studies have shown that up to 40% of people in the US make this new year's resolution, with 80% of these people failing it within a few weeks, while up to only 8% end up actually sticking to the new year's resolution for the entire year now do you remember that the eight percent is a very small number but even then some of these people may have set very easy and achievable goals that they would do anyway and some may have put themselves under very hard goals regardless these are the people that realize that new year's resolution is not the thing that causes them to change but rather it was the discipline and the hard work that allowed them to keep their promises many people are very motivated when the new year start and i've always said this that motivation might start you going but discipline is what keeps you going and when you're so motivated and you do all of this gym and all of this you know i'm gonna stop listening to music i'm gonna stop drinking smoking or watching dodgy things and you say all of that things and you don't actually have a plan what happens is that that motivation goes within a week or two and before you know it you're back to the same old you and you say you know what i'm actually gonna make a difference next year or i will start next week or next month is going to be the best time for me and actually in fact this is a procrastination tool that people use to make themselves feel better rather than starting today people will say you know what i can just wait for new year's resolution or i can wait for monday because monday just feels better or i can wait for this day that day and they end up procrastinating and before you know it a whole year goes and perhaps their whole lifetime has gone and they haven't really achieved much now on the positive aspect do you remember that some people do change their lives around during the new year but it's not the date that matters but the consistency in the efforts that they put in so if you're one of those people who have set yourself new year's resolution but you don't really have a plan and you just went because everybody else went with it and you just want to you know you're so motivated to change your lifestyle there is a very 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 extremely high chance that i can tell you from my personal experience and from even statistics that you will not be that guy you will quit that's because you didn't come up with a plan and you didn't come up with any Thing. you just want because everybody else went with it now if you want to change then do it now this very second make the right intentions make a plan and then execute it most people think they can be successful without a solid plan but in reality you will fail the majority of times if not all of the times if you don't at least have some sort of plan in your head now new year's resolution may cause certain people to make drastic changes to their mental and physical lifestyle which can cause a lot of stress especially when you feel like you know uh these are the goals that i've given myself everybody's looking at me everybody's watching me and you become very anxious and stressed and this is not good for your physical and mental well-being and most people think that they can just you know succeed with this motivation that they have and eventually what will happen is that they will snap and they can't continue with their lifestyle because of this motivation they give up without even trying for let's say a month which further causes them to be even more sad and perhaps dep depressed and even more anxious in general so the goal should be to make the right changes not because it's a new year and because everybody's doing it but because it's a new day every day is a new chance for you to literally change in fact every hour and every minute you can say that you know it can truly be your last minute or your tr last hour and you might not even be alive so whenever you say to yourself i'm going to wait till new year's or till monday or till next week to make a change then ask yourself why not now there is no guarantee that you will be alive and at the end of the day if you truly want to change then the decision is up to you procrastination is not going to help you and the idea of new year's resolution further causes you to procrastinate so you may be asking what should i do instead first of all the first day of the new year 
make sure you make loads of dua you pray and be grateful because today is that day and you are able to see a new year as many people have passed away especially in the past year with the pandemic and the after effects and all of the things people have passed away and the fact that you are still young and healthy and you have that energy and you are in a good position then know that you have been chosen and you don't want to waste this year or this very second so what you want to do is be grateful, pray, do the right things, and then just sit down, evaluate your life, make a proper plan, execute it, put the effort in so that you can change your lifestyle around to even better than it ever was. So do this for yourself, not for others. Don't look at what other people are achieving, especially in the first few weeks. So oh, I've been at the gym, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Forget them. In the long run, you will be the winner if you just stick to it. Remember, nobody cares about people talking about oh i did this i did that at the end of the day it's about how consistent you were with it and you will see that if you put loads of effort in eventually the recognition the hard work you will be admired and people will look at you as an inspiration now i'm not saying that is the goal that you should aim for but eventually if you really do the things right people out there will recognize you so set yourself some goals and ambitions and work hard enough to the point that you feel like you're actually putting a lot of effort in so grind now and make the difference perhaps this is the year for you inshallah